Hey everybody, this is an update on how to convert PS2 BinQ files to ISOs. I made a video last year, but this year in 2020, we're going to streamline it. First thing you want to do is get OPL Manager. This is the latest version, 21.6, and here's the website for you guys to find it. Once you have that, go ahead and launch OPL Manager. As you can see, I already have one game here that I need to put on my hard drive still, which is Spawn. What you want to do here is go to Tools, Disk Convert to ISO. All right, and then at the top where you see Mode, you see CD, DVD to ISO, not that one. You want the other one, the one that starts off with bin. All right, and then we're going to click Open File, and we're going to look for where our bin Q files are. All right, in my case, it's over here in the bin Q folder that I made. So pretty simple. All right, go ahead and click it. That's Stretch Panic. And then we're going to go and click Browse, and that's going to be our output folder. So for me, I'm going to put it here where my other ISO is, which is Spawn. And then we're going to hit Start. Bam, that easy. Okay, we're going to get out of here. As you can see, it's still only showing Spawn, but I'm going to hit Refresh, and it should show. There it is, Stretch Panic. Okay, now I'm going to go back to the folder so you can actually see that the ISO is there. Okay. DVD, and there it is alongside spawn, stretch panic. Alright, so now I have no need for this binq files anymore, so I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of them. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and go back into OPL and just go ahead and update the artwork because I'm about to put these two games on my hard drive. So this method is a lot easier than the 2019 video I made. I hope this helps. A lot of you guys recommended that I use this method as well, so thank you for letting me know, and you guys have a good one. See ya.